Oh, here we are. This is Baruch Fleischman, Tikkun Elevator Kolel, coming over here to learn the Parshas of the Week. We're looking at Parshas Lech Lecha. Now, here we are at the very beginning of the Parsha, and the Zohar that we're about to learn today is going to go into this Pasuk number Vav that I have a little arrow pointed at. So, let's read it. So, the words are, V'yikach Abraham, whoops, wrong one. Here it is down here. V'yavor Abraham Ba'aretz Ad Makom Shechem. So Avraham passed through the land into this place. He says a place, Makom Shechem, the place of Shechem. At Elon More, until another name, until a place called Elon More. Vakanani Oz Ba'aretz. And the Canaanite were then in the land. Now that's what it says in Hebrew. Just to verify a translation. The translation goes as Abraham, Abram. My mistake. Let me turn this sideways. I got it off a little bit. So it says, Abram passed into the land as far as the site of Shechem until the plain of Moreh. So the word Elon Moreh is the plain of Moreh. The Canaanite was then in the land. All right, that's the simple art scroll. Now, that is what they call shot, simple reading of the passage. But over here, and let me give you an idea where we're at in case you haven't seen it. We're in the Parsha's Lech Lecho on in the Mat of the Devash on page Reish Lamed Chet. And we're going to be reading basically this page and the next. And we're going to uh, move down. So the Pasuk now says like this, V'yavor Avram Ba'aretz, remember that, Pirish Sha'avraham Shehoyo Neshama. Or your Avraham, who represents the Neshama, Overus Ima Yetzahara, he passes by together with the Yetzahara. The Yetzahara is with him, in him. How is this? Ad Makam Shrem, until he reaches a place called Shrem. Pirish Da Be Kanishta, this is actually the basic analysis. Answer the Diura de Shrin Petom, this is the place where the Shrina dwells. Macham Shrem, who basically nesses, the Fihishu Macham Shadiris Ashkina Sham, because it's a place where the Shrina lives. Kamadat Omar, like you say, like this, Shay Yaakov, Omar the Yosef. Now, this it digresses, and so let's start thinking in terms of spiritual terms. That Yaakov, Omar the Yosef, he said this to Yosef, Ani no se, no snesati the Hashem Echad. He says, I'm going to give to you, special to you, a Shrem. One Shrem. Now that is a very strange, if you read read this just in the Pashtas of it, it, it what is the Shrem? Now we already have a word that he said it meant the synagogue where it meant something, a place where the Shrina dwells. So let's say Pirush. Da Shrinta de Ischazele. Shrem is really a, a reference, Romes, al ha Shrina haruya le Yosef. The Shrina who is really fit to be so to say, the mate of Yosef. O will the Iskre Tzadik, and because of the fact that he's always said, we always say about Yosef, that he's Yosef HaTzadik. Tzadik is a Lushan Yesod. So in terms of the panoply of this ten spheros, this is the one which makes mates with Malchus. The Fisher Yosef Nikra Tzadik, Kihu Choya Merkava Lamedes Yesod. Merkava means that he's a carrier for the meat of Yesod, which carries the Kedusha within it to be implanted into the Nook to create Kedusha. Kamasha Kasev al Mechram Bekasev Tzadik. So we have this Pasek, his Ahav Mechram, and the selling Bekasev Tzadik. So we see the, that the Kasev is the Tzadik. What does that mean? The hot Tzadik love Diura El Bechadi Tzadik. So he says what this means is Shahira HaShchina HaNikra Tzadik. Now, we have these two words, tzaddik and tzaddik. Tzaddik refers to Yisod. Tzaddik refers to the nukva of, of Zeran Pin, which is Malchus. Hanikva tzaddis, ein diyora, the only place where she can live, ela ima yisod hanikva tzaddik. She must have within herself this yisod in order for her to be able to function in Kedusha. Vedohu ad makom shechem, and this that is the meaning when he says until you reach the place of shechem, which is the yichud with the shrina. The shul romes al be bate kenesios, and he says, where do you find the shrina? You find them in synagogues. 
Amasha Kosavad Oy Elon More, and where it writes over here until this place called Elon More. Now we're, we're really dissecting the Pasuk. He said the plain of More. More is an interesting word. Elu Bade Medrasha, Medrasha, these are yeshivas. The Olfin Umorim Taman Torah Barabim. These are places where people learn and people teach Torah for, for the masses. Who remembers the Bade Medrasha? So it's really a reference. To yeshivas, shemalam de memorim sham Torah, bibnei bed of Torah, where we are here, v'zecher b'barabim, where the masses hear their Torah. Mefarish mora b'lashon horua. So, what's it say? Mora has a possibility of many different translations, but here he wants to use it to mean that it's teaching. Amasha kasev haknani az ba'aretz. Then it comes over and it teaches like this: that the Ganani was then in the land. So I need to know that this is the land of Canaan. Pirush Ayyadeh Shalome Torah Babatabid Rashos. So he says what? Because of the fact that they learn Torah in their yeshivas. Kaden is Basim is Takan Yatsahar. What it does is it perfumes and sweetens up, rebuilds the Yatsahara, Bagufa Bal Karche, into the body against his will. Now this is not so easy to understand, but he's going to make it come out. Oz Hayatsahara Hanikra Kanani said the Yatsahara is also called the name of Kanani. Nimtak Vinisakain Vinichna Bal Karcho, he is sweetened. Vinisakain rebuilt. Nichna bent down, in other words, humbled. Bal Karcho against his will. Bagufa Adam into the body of a man, Hanikra Eretz, who is called Eretz. Now, this is not something that I really would necessarily know, and here it is. Let's read it again. So he says that here's a name for the Yetzirah, it's also called Kanani. Nimtak, sweetened, benisakein, rebuilt, benichna, and humbled, bal karcho, bent down, against his will, begufa adam hanikra eretz, into the body of a man who is called Eretz. So it started off by saying that Abraham was 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 traveling through the land with the Yetzirah, and they came to Shechem, which is the place of the dwelling of the Shechina in, in a synagogue. So previously we said that the Yetzirah was low. It's another name for the Yetzirah, but come Nikra Kanani, and then here we're told in Kanani. Duh, so know this fact. The Sagin Shmohom Isle. He harbe shemos yesh le yesh la ha yetzahara. The yetzahara has a lots of different names. Kal shem ku kufi pu'uloso. Every name that he has is according to the business that he does. What's he going to do for his gav ruso? And now he overpowers things. Begufa adam. A beginning kach, and for this reason, idkar bishmachem segiyam, because he has different ways of dealing with people. So therefore, he has many different names. For the chain who nizker v'charbib shemo, so he's called by many different names. And before shachanani shuha yetsahara nimsav az ba'aretz vada. And this is what he means, since he said before that aretz is also the lashon of man. So he says that this is where we see that the yetsahara, you know, where you can find him inside of the aretz vada pirusha but the Matuk adds, he says, what it means to say he's inside of the body of the man, but inside of the body of the man, he can be beaten down, humbled. But and then forced to fall down into the the land, which he says is the man. Now, what does this mean? It's a little bit difficult at this point. Now, this is the meaning of this idea. Vizkapia Baha'i. Venichva means bent down or, or humbled. Venichna, venichna. Begufa adam. So in other words, it's like this. He says that the, the Yetzahara is pushed into a man's body. Begufa adam shalo la'ora oso lataivas gufnius. So the reason why it's humbled and beaten down is because it has the power to be able to get a person into taivas gufnius. But instead, the humility or the, the, the humbling of it the beating it down of his, uh, the right word is subjugation, the subjugation of the Yetzirah. Shalom, or Allah sold the divas gufnius is to keep him from seducing us. But if this concept of what we're trying to talk about does not nullify the Yetzirah. The Yetzirah is still alive and well. 
Legamre mina adam completely from inside of the man. Begin the keden ihuufu because then it becomes part of the body. Bezimna delo is aver mina hakun nachosh kol kol. Now, what does this mean? That is at a time when the nachosh is not so strong. So what what does he mean? Pirish lekach lo mizbato leyetzahara. So when it is humbled inside of the body, bent down inside of the body of the man. Because that is when it is still only a body. Now, this is not still a good explanation. So the Matu comes and he says it again. He says, Pirish, Shirak Oz, that only in this one case, in the case, Oz Yuchula Asos Maiser Guf, he's able to actually act through the body, calls the man Shulo Nisbata Bemenacha Yetzahara. So that is the, it's still not really explained well. I'll translate, but it's not explained out really well yet. Then he is able, la'asos maiseraguf, to act through the, the actions of the body. Kal zaman sholo nizbata bebenecha yetzahara, as long as the yetzahara is still inside, it's still there. Now let's go back and let's read a little bit more behind What is all of this about, about bending down the Yetzirah, and by getting subjugating and controlling the Yetzirah, what's it all about? And that it's inside of our bodies, and we have Avraham Abinu, who was bringing, at that time, he's Avraham, he's, he's bringing the Yetzirah to the shul. V'hainu, so why? What's, that's the metaphor, bringing the Yetzirah to the place of learning, to the place of praying. V'hainu Kadesh Yuchu L'Kayim Mitzvah's period of It was said in the time of the, the, the Knesset of Gadolim, that they were able to nullify the Yetzahara. And they found out that chickens stopped laying eggs. So therefore they realized you can't do without the Yetzahara. The question is the subjugation of the Yetzahara. And that's the reason why the Kayim Mitzvah's period of Arabia, and that's really what the Yetzahara, the best thing that it can do in the side of Kedusha is, is get a person into, into living with the woman. Man with a woman, woman with a man. Should Sarak Lizad his order this Hayatza because in order to be able to live with a partner, you have to be able to arouse the Yetzahara. And the far showed and explains further, begin the Vekusa, Ayidera Guf, because it was good but the Gufa, because in fact that it clings to the body. So the body with the neshama should be clinging together. In other words, the Yetzirah is that. Let me translate it better. <laughs> Let me get back. And so that the body of the man, Davok in the neshama, should be able to cling with the neshama. Now what he means by the body of the man is the place where the Yetzirah is. And then, as a result of the fact that the man himself, I guess it's the subjugation of the Yetzirah, that you could use the body, the Neshama directs then the body to do the things that it needs to do, which are those that, which is be fruitful and multiply. The Hainu Kedei Lakayim HaMitzvah is a period of Arabia in order to be able to fulfill that mitzvah al Yedera Guf through the body because you need a body. The Yetzahara acts through the body can be subjugated and controlled. Kedei Haknani Azba'aretz That is when you find that Kanani is in the land. V'chein HaYetzahara The Yetzahara which is called the Kanani Nishra Dayim Beguf Adam. That's why we have a Yetzahara within us. Below Miss Bato Lagamri, and it is never nullified completely. Varma Odni says, furthermore, Amai Ikre Knani. So, what's shot in the word Knani? Lama Nikra Hayetzahar Knani. Why is it called that name? The Ashar Gufa the Dinim Bishi. What's that? Ashar surrounds the body with bad deeds, bad punishments. What does it mean? Meforash. A Knani Lushan Socher. A Knani is the language of a merchant, of a trader. Behind the Shemesave, the maybe is a goof. So what is he does? He surrounds and he brings the body, the dinim roim. That's why it's called a kanani. Anyway, that's Baruch Fleischman here at the Tikkun Elevator Kolo, and this is the Zohar for this fifth day of the week of Parshas Lachlachah.